Learning to apply decals or transfers is one of the basic skills a modeler needs. Military vehicles and aircraft were covered with symbols and numbers. Often decals are the easiest way to add markings to a model. They are neater than trying to apply them freehand. They come with your kit, printed onto a transparent carrier film attached to card. The idea is they detach underwater and you slide them onto your model. Sounds easy enough, but decals can be of varying quality, opacity and thickness. So there's some tricks to ensure a good realistic scale finish. Here's our first tip. What you want to avoid is silvering. This is when air gets trapped under a decal. It makes the carrier film a silver colour or shimmery instead of transparent. So it's always a good idea to first seal your model using a gloss or satin varnish. You can also use this, Johnson's Clear, an acrylic compound for floors. This clear liquid acts like a varnish and dries very hard. In all cases, the idea is to provide a smooth surface for your decal. Applying decals to a totally matte surface can lead to silvering. Simply apply the clear in thin coats. Here, we're applying it to a base coat of Tamiya Olive Drab. Leave it to dry thoroughly. Thanks to the new glossy surface, your decals will have good adhesion and no silvering. Now that's ready, here's what you will need. Some decal setting solution. This will help the decals adhere to the model. A sharp scalpel for trimming. And a ruler. Next, you need to remove as much carrier film as possible. You can see it here, surrounding the markings. If you don't do that, the carrier film can sit proud of the model, which looks unrealistic. So take the ruler and scalpel and cut as near as possible to the marking. Next, coat the area where you'll be applying the decal with the first part of the setting solution. Drop the decal into water and leave to soak. After a minute or so, slide the marking into place on the model. You can move it with a brush or blade tip. Once happy, dab off any excess water with a paper towel. You're ready to apply the second part of the setting solution. Be careful as this will make the decal quite fragile. So coat it on gently, being careful not to move it. Then do not touch it till it's dry. Then allow to set thoroughly. Dust off any residues or fibers. And then seal the model with varnish. Here, we're using the excellent Vallejo mat. The mat varnish dulls down the model and markings to a more realistic scale finish. Now you have scale markings with no silvering or thick edges. This leaves you to weather the model by applying washes and dusting over the model. There you have it, some basic tips for making convincing decals from Scale War Machines, the home of model making videos, articles and archive films. Don't forget, Scale War Machines is an exciting new universe of model making, with both free videos and premium videos available to download and collect. So support us by downloading one of our premium videos.